Hello friends. Welcome to the July edition of View on Asset Allocation and Fund of Funds. Let's start by taking a look at various asset classes. Starting with equity, now globally, mobility indicators and economic indicators are showing a strong recovery. Rising inflation is seen to be transitory and the central banks are expected to maintain an accommodative stance. Strong economic growth, loose monetary policy and excess liquidity are boosting global equity markets to all-time highs. In India, the second COVID wave has peaked out and the pace of vaccinations is rising with improved supply. Mobility and economic indicators are on an uptrend. The fiscal and monetary policies are also supportive for growth. Hence, India's economic recovery should come back on track by FY23 and earnings growth should also normalize. From a medium-term perspective, valuations seem fair as economy and earnings would have normalized by then. Strong FII flows, domestic flows and increased retail participation should also support markets. Overall, in the medium to long term, we believe that the risk reward for equities is fairly balanced. We maintain our view to play domestic cyclicals, infrastructure, industrials, financials and IT. Now looking at fixed income, we believe that the increased uncertainties on growth front may keep the RBI accommodative for a longer period than market consensus. Floater and short term funds continue to be the best risk adjusted places for fixed income investors to have accrual returns over other fixed income classes. Coming to gold, gold prices have seen a correction last month, but we expect gold prices to rise again on the back of rising expect inflation expectations in the US, which would lead to lower real rates as well as the expected weakening in the dollar. And finally, regarding real estate, the returns have been depressed over the past five years as prices have been flat. We expect only a gradual recovery in prices for the next few years due to high inventory levels. The Aditya Birla Sun Life Asset Allocator Fund of Fund crystallizes our fund house strategy and its portfolio is aligned with our outlook. It's a one-stop shop giving investors a well-rounded exposure to four key asset classes, namely domestic equity, international equity, fixed income and gold. This reduces the overall volatility and increases the chances of getting higher risk edges returns. Investors can invest in just this one fund and get exposure to the underlying funds. Essentially, it enables stress-free investing with an evergreen fund. A dedicated portfolio manager takes care of the asset allocation, fund selection and rebalancing. So investors need not time markets and can just stay invested for the long term without having to worry about the changing market dynamics. Now, given our view, let's take a look at the portfolio allocation of the Aditya Villa Sun Life Asset Allocator Fund. Currently, we are maintaining the median allocation, which is 60% to equities, given a positive outlook in the medium to long term, even as we have a cautious view for the short term, given the sharp rally in the markets. The core of the equity portfolio remains the large cap and the diversified funds, but we also continue to maintain a good exposure to small caps and sectoral thematic funds such as banking and financials, digital and infrastructure, as well as to the international ETFs. Within equities, based on the allocation of the underlying funds, around 60% allocation is to large cap stocks and 40% is to mid cap and small cap stocks. At the sectoral level, banking and financials, IT and consumer goods have the highest allocation. On the fixed income side, the core of the portfolio remains the low duration and corporate bond funds. We have increased allocation to gold ETFs to 15% as gold prices saw a correction but are expected to benefit from an increase in the inflation in the US and the anticipated dollar weakening. Looking at performance, the Aditya Villa Sun Life Asset Allocator Fund continues to be in the top quartiles across short, medium and long time frames when it's compared to the industry's asset allocator funds and dynamic allocation funds. In the past one year, the fund has given a return of 38% compared to around 30% for the benchmark. The performance last month and over the past three months has been aided mainly by the Aditya Villa Sun Life Digital India Fund, Infrastructure Fund and the Small Cap Fund. Thank you and happy investing. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.